Well, I uh, just had my uh, track workout today. Um, I was supposed to do 30 minutes of training. Sorry, adjusting the camera. Uh, 30 minutes of cardio, and it was nice outside today, so I figured I would go out and go back to the track where I'm comfortable. Um, I love sprinting. Excuse me, y'all. I got to dismiss this thing here. Um, I love sprinting, just kind of what my roots are, and just really feel comfortable and cozy on the track. Um, so went and I bust out some um, 10 100s, and they were not at full speed. They were probably about, I'll say 50, 60%. Um, I just did legs. What did I do legs? I did legs Thursday, brutal legs on Thursday. So uh, my legs were kind of, were still pretty sore. My quads were pretty sore. So I went about 50, 60, 65%, um, still breaking in my new tennis shoes too. So I should probably, if I'm gonna do some sprint workouts, I should probably get some spikes, which are kind of, they're, they're more comfortable to sprint in. Anyway, I was um, looking, reviewing some of my film, looking at myself on camera and I am really not happy with what I'm seeing right now. I'm going through a bulking phase, which I've never really done before. And my coach wanted me to add some more size in my delts and in my back. Um, so I've been eating more carbs than I'm used to eating. Um, and I'm, I actually have put on some, some good size in the short amount of time that we've been working together. We've been working together, I think, about um, three weeks. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've seen some great growth in my delts and in my back. Um, my back was, you know, never really a problem, but I've really seen some good improve, some great improvements in the definition in my back in the rounding of my delts. Um, so I'm happy about that, but it's mentally challenging to see your body bulk and your body expand. So definitely when you're adding some muscle mass, you have to, to fuel your body so it has enough energy to be able to rebuild those muscles and grow those muscles. So like I said, I've been eating a little bit more carbs and just kind of noticing my body has um, developed more. And it's a hard thing to see my body on camera. Um, um, the ass needs to come down some and I don't know, man. It's um, definitely when you're competing in figure, it is mentally challenging because you have to um, really uh, be confident in yourself and knowing that it's all a journey and it's all part of the process. You'll see your body maybe grow and expand and maybe gain a little of body fat or gain a little weight, but knowing that it will come back down. But then when it comes back down, you have to gear you have to wrap your mind around the fact that it's got to go back up because keeping your body fat at about seven percent is not healthy definitely not healthy for a woman I mean, you may notice that you may go through some hormonal changes your cycles may change your energy level may change when your body fat drops which is all normal because as women um, our body fat is supposed to be you know it's definitely supposed to be higher for uh, definitely in in childbearing years so uh, really wasn't happy with how my body's looking on camera. So as a matter of fact, I text my coach and I'm like, we need to get this diet started like tomorrow because I'm not satisfied with the way that my body is looking right now. But then again, you know, it's mental. I got to wrap my mind around it and know that it's a process and trust in his knowledge and his abilities that he knows what he's doing. He, he and so far, like I've, I've seen, you know, he's been on point with everything. So just got to wrap my mind around it. And no, it's a process. It will come down. The jiggle will stop. <laughs> the fat will, will burn. And what I'm seeing right now, I probably won't see in the next four weeks. So um, just kind of difficult. Be a part of being a woman. You know, we want to, uh, we want to be in top shape, especially as, as those who, who are fit and who are fitness professionals. You want to be at your best all the time. And seeing your body not at, not at its best and seeing your body in a different state it's just difficult. I'm still a woman. So that part is difficult. That'll never, never go away. Just have to, to reaffirm that it will change. So that is about it. Um, and I will check in with you guys later. Have a good week.